Hey guys, Andrew here from Fantastic Adventures and welcome to another one of my videos. Now have you ever gone camping and the thought of setting up your tent, your campsite, uh, the guy ropes, the tent poles have been just way too much for you? Well, guess what? Today I think I've got the solution for you. Today I'm going to do a review of brand new XCM rooftop tent. This is the hard top and hopefully this will be the solution for your needs. Alright, so when you first purchase the product, um, it actually includes everything you need from the roof rails to um, the connectors to connect it up to your roof, all spares, screwdrivers, uh, bolts, everything you need. You don't need anything. Uh, so it actually is really good that the product comes with everything you need to attach it to the roof, ready to go. It also includes two remote controls to um, operate the actuators, which I'll show you guys in a minute. Um, the good thing it comes with two uh, because I've already lost one. Um, so this is my only one that I've got left. So hopefully XCM can maybe send me a brand new one. But guys, it comes with everything you need, so you won't have to customize in any way to um, mount it on your roof. All right, so this is the XCM rooftop tent as it comes out of the box. It does come with this waterproof cover on top. It's kind of like a uh, raincoat material that comes with the tent. But um, all it does is it straps around the either all four sides, which protects it from the water and the rain. My personal opinion, this thing is absolutely useless. When you purchase it, you might as well throw it away in the bin because it doesn't do anything. It doesn't protect you from the wind, it doesn't protect it from mud, it doesn't protect it from anything. So this thing, bin it or sell it, whatever you want. Uh, it's actually really useful. So guys, the only thing that you can use this for is actually when you put the rooftop tent in storage. Not many of you guys might or may not put it into storage, might leave the tent on for, you know, when you drive down the road, but I take mine off every time I go on, um, on trips and camps and expeditions. Um, but in storage, I put this on, uh, but putting it on while you're driving, wouldn't recommend it. It's useless, makes too much noise, and it doesn't actually protect you from the rain or the dust from getting inside the tent. The rooftop tent is held down by two, four, six, eight of these straps. Um, they're just rubber straps with a bit of a rivet through them with clips underneath. So you press them to un undo them and they come off. Now, my personal opinion, these are actually really cheap and quite easy to break. I've actually broken one of them already and another one's on their way out. The clip, um, I don't know whether it's UV resistant or not, but um, I, it seems like they get really brittle and really stiff over time if you leave your tent out in the sun a lot. So they're gonna break really easily. Um, but I'm still trying to figure out another way of attaching new ones of these or something else, kind of like trailer points or you know trailer straps on to try and fix it and um, make it work. Because if you guys have an idea on how to improve this or make it better to strap down without it breaking, leave a comment below and I'll try them and see if it works. Hopefully you can guys can give me a better idea on what to do to replace these. One of the things with the hardtop rooftop tent is the question I get asked a lot is how does it seal against the, the actual roof rack? Um, now, as you can see, there's a gap all the way around the entire tent. And I'll show you guys a quick video of it now as you go around. It doesn't actually seal, all right? There's a gap between the two. But in saying that, I'll show you in a minute, water from the rain, uh, bull dust, dirt, does not actually get inside your sleeping quarters, but it does coat the outside canvas of the tent because of these holes. Um, so that's why they give you that little 
cover to put over the top to help with it, but it, it's more annoying to put that thing on when it's windy because it acts like a parachute. So you're better off just leaving it as is and trying to figure out a way of covering this up. But you don't need to. I've actually driven with this in bulldust and dust has not gotten into my sleeping quarters. Um, but one negative with the design of the rooftop is they should have made it somehow to seal with the roof rack. So that's one of the negative things about this tent. So the design of the hard top, the shell, is made of a PVC canvas. It actually, uh, no, a PVC plastic. So this plastic is kind of like the same plastic that are on most flares. Now, the design of it allows the water when it rains to rush down and away, and it's really good at protecting, creating a waterproof seal for um, when you set up the tent. But also the design, as you can see, there's a little rivet in the middle between the two, the two, the two um, raised areas of the, um, the tent. Now, in these two spaces are really beneficial in the fact that you can store your pillows, um, your bags, um, your clothing, raincoats, everything inside the tent. So it's on your roof of your car. So therefore, you got more room in the, the cabin of your car and everything stays dry inside the tent and away from water when you go through water crossing. Now, this middle section is really good at the fact that it stores your ladder. Now, this ladder is actually bolted onto the roof rack. And now this ladder, the good thing about the ladder is um, when you do go camping, it gets dirty, it gets muddy, and you don't have to take it off to put it inside the tent like the soft top. And you don't have to put it inside your car so then you, you don't have to uh, waste space in your car. So having this extra little divot and storing your ladder on here is an excellent idea. Well done to XTM um, for making that up. One of the negative thing is this is a standard size ladder. So my car, my FJ Cruiser is no more than 2.1 meters tall. So if you've got a car that's more than 2.1 to 2.2 meters tall, your ladder will not reach the floor. It will most likely damage the side panels of your car because it's not gonna create the right angle to, to basically get away from your panels, your doors. Um, so guys, if your car is too tall, you might wanna think about taking this ladder off and buying a different ladder or actually trying to find a telescopic ladder which comes with the soft top of the XTM range and the manual one of the XTM range. They, they actually have the manual telescopic ladder. All right guys, enough fluffing around. I know you guys are dying to see how this thing sets up. So let's get started. Let me show you a quick video on how it sets up. Now I'm gonna film this in real time and I'm not going to do any type of time lapse or fast forwarding. You're gonna see this in real time on how quick this is set up. Awesome, let's see it happen. All right guys, so it's now all set up. It's pretty quick and easy. It takes around 26 seconds to set up and it's all with the use of a button. Um, now guys, as you can see, the canvas on the outside, you got a fly screen on the top to protect uh, from rain. But you also got this heavy duty canvas, which protects you from the rain as well. It is a uh, ripstop canvas as well. And you have your fly screen and nice large windows. Now you got four, basically three windows and one door and they all have the fly screen on them and they all have a hard canvas on the inside as well for you to unzip. All right guys, so these, uh, this automatic tent comes with an actuator. It comes with two actuators actually. Now these are maintenance free actuators. So basically you don't need to do anything with them. They are maintenance free. Um, now this actuator specifically is designed to open gates and fences automatically. So this is 
over-engineered for its purpose. So if it does break, which highly unlikely is going to break, um, BCF has reassured me that they will replace it. Uh, and let's see if they will, but um, it hasn't broken. Um, so they're actually really strong, really sturdy. Now, every point here is actually sealed with silicon. Um, so in my opinion, it's dust proof. Um, I wouldn't call it waterproof. It's probably water resistant. Um, but not like you're going to submerge these things in water. So, and I don't plan on testing it. But this, the actuators have worked perfectly and flawlessly in windy conditions out on the beach. And I would highly recommend using one of these automatic actuators for this thing. So well done to XCM for designing it in the way they have because it actually works. It really does. The hard top, as you can see, it creates a bit of a shade. Um, even when it's on the rooftop, it, it casts quite a bit of shade out. So you do get a bit of shade when you do go camping. Now, it comes with this handle, which you can use to open and close the hard top. But I think this is one of the stupidest things that has been put on this tent. Reason being is this, this handle rubs against the mesh on the door. Now I'm going to quickly show you guys where it is because it creates an indentation on the mesh and eventually it is going to rip the mesh and it is going to be expensive to replace and fix. So my advice, now I've only put this back on for the filming purposes of this review. My advice is to take this off, remove it completely because it's going to cause damage on your fly mesh and that's not what you want it. That's not what you want to do. So take this off straight away if you do plan on purchasing it. XDM, not a smart idea because this plastic is going to rip the mesh. My advice is you should have put the handle somewhere further back or either on both sides for it because that way um, it's on the canvas and rather than the fly. All right, so there's, there's little ventilation gaps through on both sides of the front which allow air to flow in and out. When you do open all the windows, there is excellent ventilation in these things. And I've camped in 30 degrees summer heat. And as long as you position your car correctly, you'll get the wind coming in and out. And it's absolutely amazing. It's almost as if you were in an air conditioned room. Now, one of the benefits of having this tent also is one of these. Now, the XTM range comes with this. And I think this is one of the smartest things you can have while camping. Now, when you go camping, the worst thing you could have is sand, mud, dirt um, inside your sleeping quarters. So, good thing XTM's designed this by putting shoe holders. So, when you go up to the top of your roof, you can put your shoes in here and, it, and basically clean out your feet um, before you jump into bed. Therefore, there's not going to be any sand in there, which is absolutely perfect. Now, underneath, there's actual little um, uh, holes at the bottom uh, and that's excellent because that allows water to drip down and also mud to get out and about and not having to get any dirt inside the bag. Now it also comes a little pocket and you can put some tools and extra things, your light, such, uh, stuff like that in there. So that, that actually helps a lot. There's a pocket for socks so you can actually store your socks in here as well. So I'm going to quickly show you. A pair of shoes, a couple of socks. Take your socks off before you go to bed, pop them in here. Now having your shoes up high, um, away from uh, the floor means bugs, spiders, snakes, won't get into your shoes. So pop your shoes in this pocket, tighten up, and there you go. Excellent idea, well done XCM for designing such an absolutely amazing product. All right, guys, most tents, when you open the door, you've got to roll them up, and they're actually quite annoying. With the XCM range, what's good about it is when you unzip it, it flops down, which means it's a lot easier to roll up and away. Whereas if it's on top, you've got to roll, and most of the time, you can't roll it up to hook it on top, whereas when it's down the bottom, it's a whole lot easier. All right, guys, as you can see, we're inside the tent and you've got two windows on the sides, one big door in the front and a nice big window at the back. Now, the designer of this tent, I believe, was a guy from Japan and he was a photographer. And having all these windows around you makes it absolutely amazing to take photographs. 
um, while out expeditioning on overland and going camping because when you do see wildlife, um, you can quickly open your tent and take a quick photo. Now, guys, as you can see, I've got my pillows in here, sleeping bag, and also a quilt. Everything that I use for camping stays in the tent and it doesn't come out. Um, and it's absolutely awesome not having to put all this stuff inside the cabin. Now, guys, FJ Cruiser is really small as is, so having the ability to store things on the roof and away from the water makes it makes it so much better and so much more room inside the FJ Cruiser and more comfortable for us and the dogs. The mattress that is in here is a super dense mattress and is really comfortable. Uh, me personally, I think it's more comfortable than my mattress in my bedroom. Um, but it is it gives us an absolutely amazing night's sleep. It is very comfortable, it is nice and firm and you don't feel the slates underneath the rooftop tent um, and it is just super comfortable. Even the missus thinks it's comfortable, so that tells you guys a lot. Now, inside the actual tent itself, you've got these little pockets. And I'll show you guys a quick snip of, or, or a photo. Um, now, these pockets are on both sides. So you can sleep with your head on either side. It doesn't matter because it's still there. And it allows you to store your phones, your keys, and anything that might be necessary on top of the roof uh, with you and away from where you're lying down. So that's actually a really, really smart idea. Um, now inside the tent, um, it, it is basically a king single bed. Uh, it, almost a double, um, and it will fit two people very comfortably. For me and the missus, it will fit both of us and a dog. Matter of fact is, I'm gonna grab a dog. All right guys, as you can see, we managed to get all three of our dogs in here. Um, now usually we only get one to sleep up here with us, and this would be little Laika, because she's little. Uh, but me and the missus do sleep up here um, together and with one dog. The other two will either sleep in, you know, in the car or in a dog trailer with our friends. So this tent is actually... Let me do a list for you guys of the pros and cons. So the, the pros are going to be on the right hand side, the cons are going to be on the left hand side. So first of all, pros, it's quick to set up. It is really quick. You can't beat how fast it is to set up. Is that you don't actually have to physically climb on top of your rooftop tent like a traditional rooftop tent where you have to unzip and undo things on top of your tent so therefore it's a safety thing so excellent for those who are um, who, who may be retirees this will be actually really helpful um, another pro is you're sleeping above the ground so therefore you're not lying down on the floor where there are tree branches honking nuts Things that might make you feel uncomfortable, this is actually really, really comfortable. Um, another pro is that you're, bas you're basically sleeping on the penthouse suite, so you've got bragging rights. Um, and also, yes, another one is you've got excellent views, so you'll be able to see far and wide in the over uh, out in the ocean and overlanding, you'll be able to see things where others can't see. Um, now, for some of the cons. Now, one of the biggest cons for this is the price tag. Um, now, these things retail for about 2,800, I believe, and it is very expensive. Um, but hopefully, somehow, XEM can do you guys a deal, or BCF might be able to do you guys a deal. Um, but yeah, it is quite a pricey. But if you compare it to some of the other, other hardtop rooftop tents, is roughly in the same price range so this could be one that you may want to consider another uh, con is you cannot stand up in the, one of these things so the height of these things aren't great for standing up yes I believe I can still I know I can um, still get changed in here and the missus still gets changed but sometimes it's a lot easier to put some pants on and when you can stand up and you have more room um, this is literally your sleeping quarters only whether um, the, ex the standard rooftop tent, you can actually include an annex. Now I'm going to show you a quick photo of one of my previous setups now that shows you how you can set up an annex where you get a separate room. Um, so you have more room underneath your tent um, for your dogs or other people or when you're camping with extra people um, and um, you know where you can store your clothes and stuff as well. Um, but in this case, this is technically just a living and sleeping quarters only. Um, 
but I'll do a, a review on my living quarters on my FKA because I've done something very unique for that. So if you guys want to see that, please like and subscribe and leave a comment below and I will do that for you guys. Um, cool. So if you plan on going camping and you want a quick 30 second setup, and I, when I say 30 second setup, I mean 30 second setup. This is perfect. There is no need for guide ropes. There is no need for poles. All you need is a roof rack, uh, 12 volts, and plugging the, the cigarette lighter, the cigarette point into a cigarette lighter, and allowing it to turn on and opening up, you're gonna have an absolute amazing time camping. Now guys, this is, what I, this is what I think. Having the ability to sleep on top of your roof means you got the penthouse suite while you're going camping. So guys, if you are in the market and looking for a rooftop tent, there is nothing better than this XCM rooftop tent. I highly recommend it. Guys, if you guys have anything else you guys want to know about this tent, leave a comment below. Make sure you give me a thumbs up and a share, and I'll see you guys next time on another fantastic adventure. Cheers, guys. Do you like the tent, Leica? Do you like the tent? Yeah. What about you, Mama? Mama Mishka, did you like the tent? Did you like it? What about Mr. Miko? Did you like your tent? You don't like it because you can't sleep inside. <laughs> yeah, you have to sleep down.